Okay, so this is just going to be a quick video to show you how I edit those 360 sphere panoramic little planet things from my DJI Spark. Um, the, all the DJI drones, they will automatically take all the photos necessarily necessary for the, um, for the panorama. And then in the DJI Go app, uh, the app will automatically then stitch the photos together. However, if you're wanting to have an image that you can share on Instagram or Facebook or anywhere else, um, then you'll need to use an app uh, program like what I have open here. So I'm using this program called Image Composite Editor and I'll put a link uh, down in the blog of where you can download that. And now I've only used this program twice myself, so I'm not an expert with this, but it will show you how you can create one of those little planet photos that which you can then share wherever you want. So first thing you need to do is click on new panorama from images. And then this is my um, card from my DJI Spark. And the DJI drones will put, every time you take a panorama using the drone, it will put each panorama into its own folder. So these are all the panorama, panoramic photos I've, I've taken. Um, so I want the latest one, which is this one on the bottom here. And there you can see all 46 JPEGs that it's taken. So if I select them all, and click open. And then, as you can see here, all we're doing here is importing the relevant files. So again, just select all and then click next, which will take you to Stitch. There we go. So once it's stitched everything, you'll have something looking like this, which is not necessarily what you want. So as you can see on the right side here, there's all different kinds of um, things you can create. Different looking panoramics. Okay, so from here you do have to do a bit of playing about with it slightly, um, but the one you wanna go on the one you want to use is this stereo graphic. Now, when you first click on stereo graphic, it automatically aligns all the 46 JPEGs and it'll create something like this, which isn't necessarily what you want. Certainly not if you're wanting to create one of those little planet images. So if you have a look at this grid that's on screen, if you move the cursor to different points on this grid, you can then rotate the image on the, on the different axis. So to create the little planet, you wanna move the image uh, just up like that. So if you get the cursor, if you move it towards the top end of this grid, like where I am here, and then just move it up and keep moving, keep moving until you get the kind of look that you want. And you can see that's now looking more like one of those little planets. Um, so the good thing about this program is that you've got a lot of control over how the image, how you want the image to look. Um, you can also sort of spin it round like that. So you've complete freedom in how you want the image to look. So sorry, I'm probably making you dizzy there. 
So you just align things up, get it looking exactly how you want. And then again, click next. Let it do its thing. So it's stitched that all together and then the final well I guess not the final step but final step in terms of actually creating the image is to crop it in which way you like so if I zoom all the way out you can see if I was to export the file now it would export everything in this white box which is obviously not what I want so all you need to do is just move this box to however you want so however you want the image cropped. So if I just wanted to create one of those normal looking little planets that you've seen, then, you know, something roughly like that is what I would do. Um, if I zoom in a bit. And then if you wanted, what I have also done as well is I did export this version and then I've also just done something like that just to get the top the top like that so it would export just purely what's in this white box here um, now obviously this image is looking quite underexposed it's difficult to get the exposure right when you're shooting into the sun uh, on the on the DJI drones the dynamic range isn't great um, so obviously this is, is not a well exposed image at all but what I do is stitch it all together create the image from here export it and then the final image I'll put into Lightroom and then I can I can brighten it up in Lightroom so the first step is just obviously creating this image first and then you can play about with it in, in Lightroom so I'm happy with that so I've cropped it the way I want to now I just click uh, next again, and then just choose um, how and where I want to export it. So obviously JPEG, and then just export to disk. And like I say, once I've got that file there, I'll then just import that into Lightroom, brighten it up a bit, make any adjustments that I want, and then I can share that on Instagram and Facebook and on my blog or anywhere else that I want to. But like I say, the good thing about this app is that you've got total freedom to move things around exactly how you want it and create the little planet, create the exact image that you want. So I hope you've enjoyed this image. Uh, if you've got a drone yourself, I hope you have a lot of fun experimenting and playing with these types of images. So that's it. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video on YouTube. Bye.